Equipment grounding. Oh, this should be just equipment grounding conductors, part six. Oh, well, this is the table, right? The table 250.122 has an A, B, C, D, E, F. A says equipment grounding conductors must be sized not smaller than shown on the table based on the rating of the overcurrent device. However, they are not required to be larger than the phase conductors. So, Jacob, when, you, when you're sizing the equipment grounding conductors, like right here in this example here, 125 amp breaker, you would go to the table, and we'll go to Brian. You have the table there, yeah, Brian? Sure 125 amp breaker, show us there. And I always have to think, okay, 125, okay, you got you to go to 200 amp. <laughs> you know, I always got to do that thinking. That means I would be a uh, six gauge. And so if we look at the graphic, 125 amp, that equipment grounding conductor, six gauge. You with me? Uh, yes, that would be six gauge. Brian. Yeah, there's very few things that I would recommend that people memorize, but this is literally something you should be doing every single day. And I had all my guys just up to 200 amps. I'm like, look, you need to know what size up to 200 amps. That's your normal everyday stuff. Anything bigger than that, you're probably not going to be inventing yourself. Somebody's going to be telling you what to install, but you know, it's just a couple little numbers there to remember, and it just makes it real, real simple that we're not making mistakes or always having to jump into your code book every single time. Well, that's interesting because I don't know what the size wires are up to 200 amps, personally. I have no clue. Me neither. So I would have to look it up every single time. But I agree with you. You guys are running out there doing the install. We're doing it every single day. You got to go to the grounding conductors, PVC. You're doing it every single day. How about we know what size?